hello guys uh, today we will see how to configure ssh on uh, created cloud rr machines in which uh, we have done the prerequisites uh, for all these machines uh, including the os level configurations which is required for uh, creating i mean installing the cdh so uh, i just logged in to the uh, cloud rr cm machine if you want to check type the host name so the cm so we will generating a ssh key on this machine and we will be copying all the public keys to the other machine so so this is the steps we will be going to do next so for generating the ssh key we need to type a command called ssh keychain it will generate a public key on this path plus enter and directory has been created and it is asking for the password so we can go for no password or we can enter the password here if it is required so that is a dev systems we will go ahead with the without having any password we can click enter so this ssh key has been generated here if you want to see here you can type ssh copy this path paste it here so you can see that the public key in the private key has been generated for the cloud animations so now what we need to do to make the passwordless authentication to the other servers we have to copy these keys to the uh, remaining servers remaining servers which includes edge master worker node 1 worker node 2 and worker node 3 so we have to copy to the all the nodes so this can be automated using the script as we have minimal systems I will go with the manual process and explain whatever the changes uh, will occur during the copy so I will copy I have logged into um, edge node as well so you can see that you see there is no directory called ssh here and if you see there is a directory called ssh so I, what I will do I will copy the public keys to the edge node now using a command ssh copy id i am using a user cl cloud error to copy to the host name edge that's it you type it as yes and it will ask you it will ask for the password at the first time enter the password as cloud error so that has been copied now you go back to the system first you go back to the path of cloudera manager where the ssh key ssh keys are present okay so as you see one more known host file has been added if you cat this See, you can see that the Cloudera um, Edge node IP has been added here. So this means that it is communicate to the Edge node without any password. You can check that by SSHing to the that machine Cloudera at Edge. And see, it is logged into the Cloudera machine's Edge node. You can see the name of the Edge node here, host name without asking for the password so I'll go to the Cloudera manager edge node now I'll put the same command ls manager here you can see that one file ssh has been generated I'll go to that I'll see that what are the changes it, it has added a file called authorized keys so so this is the Cloudera manager authorized keys which are present in the CM that has been added so that 
the the host has been identified without any keys so this is the way we have to do for all the machines so i have done it for um, edge node now then i'll go for master node ssh copy hyphen id cloud error at master master is the host name here enter then next uh, we will copy to the uh, master node so for that ssh copy id cloud error at master and type yes and uh, i'll type the password cloud error so that i can copy i want to check ssh cloud error at master that should not for the password see the it has been logged into the cloud error master without asking the password same thing i have to do it for all the machines mm, i'll exit from this i'll ssh i'll take the arrow i'll master is done mm, the left out with work node 1 work node 2 and work node 3 So worker node one yes I'll type password cloud error and work node two type yes cloud error work node three I'll type yes type cloud error okay so all nodes have been done. Just check the last one whether it is done or not without any password. Three. See, you can be able to log into the worker node three. Okay. Now, if you see the node host, it should be added with all the entries. What we have transfer the keys. See one edge node, master node, work node one, work node two, work node three. See, it means that it can connect to the edge node, master node, work node one, work node two, work node three without uh, any password phrase using a user cloud data. So this step has to be repeated in all the nodes. So now we will take the edge node. So So this is the edge node where I have logged in. Okay, and I can able can able to connect to the uh, CM node. If you go here, cloud and CM. Yes, cloud data. SSH cloud error at CM. See every time it will ask for the password to enter. So the we wanted passwordless uh, passwordless connection to the other host okay so I am in edge node right now so I will be generating a key for this node key gen the same thing has to be repeated what you have done for cloud era manager okay the key has been generated and if you go for home cloud era
type also ssh and i'll do that so if you see these are the two extra files generated keys uh using this ssh key agent tool so we will be copying to all the nodes so i'll be doing that by ssh copy id at i'll go to the load error at cm okay and I'll enter in the cloud error okay if you type now ssh cloud error at cm it should not ask for a password correct this login so repeat this copy id command to master okay this is loaded up password copied and there what kernel one type yes password is cloud error copied and we have to do it for work kernel two yes cloud error yes cloud error copy. so it has been copied to all the nodes from edge node to cm node master node work node 1 work node 3 work node 4 so then we have to take it up master copy the ssh key, generate ssh key on master copy this to edge node copy this to cm node work node one, two, and three. Same thing to be done on work node one, work node two, and work node three. So this completes the passwordless, passwordless SSH connection uh, with all the servers. Okay. Uh, if any doubts and clarification needed, you can comment on the video and please subscribe. Thank you.